Hello and welcome to Watkins Glen once again. We were just here for the UFF, uh, USF 2000 not too long ago, but this time we're in a whole different machine. We are in the 1987 Legends, and uh, it's some tough work. <laughs> um, I was really bad driving this thing around Sonoma, and while I don't think it's quite as difficult, it's still very difficult driving it around Watkins Glen here. It's the uh, classic layout with, uh, you know, without the chicane back here. And so you come flying into the carousel at a million miles an hour. And, uh, well, you better be braking hard enough <laughs> before you get there. Let's just put it that way. So. Um, I'm not all that fast. Um, I'm in a situation where the, uh, where my road eye rating is way overselling me here <laughs> so um, that's probably gonna be interesting I'm gonna take that corner softer yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be fighting the wheel I'm gonna be fighting the wheel a lot and I imagine the the tires are only gonna get worse as the run goes along so I'm gonna be real nice to it At least try to be. Because, uh, huh, I don't have too much of an option. I'm just trying to get this car around the track first. And then it's hard to even worry about anything beyond that. So. Here we are. Hey, we got a pretty good run off of, uh, off of the uphill section there. Which is, of course, very important with this long backstretch, if you can call it that. Heading into the carousel. You can run wide here now, but that was too wide. Too wide. Okay. <laughs> okay, got to balance that a little bit better. Cause there goes this lap. Not expecting too much. Out of my qualifying lap here, you can probably hear me struggling. Just in my voice. It's, uh... Just try to get this thing to turn, and man, it's a uh, it's lap. handful. So <laughs> we ended up bringing about even on my best lap time, which is not a very good lap time. Oh my God, turn! It's gonna be off track. Oh, it's not an off track. Okay, you go off track now if you go beyond that curb now. So you can't do that. I was pretty close to being called out for it there. So. Glad that didn't happen. I think it might be best for me to shift forth a little sooner through there. I heard people talking about that in the open practice ahead of time. Let's make sure we roll this a little bit more. We'll get on to the throttle. Okay. I'm gonna try third through there. And that was the worst lap. <laughs> so I'm gonna be all over the place. Um, enough to control the car and be slow at least. But uh, when I try to go fast, it's probably gonna look pretty ugly. <laughs> oh, I'll get myself an off track. So, yeah. I mean, there's guys running 113s in practice, 114s here in qualifying. I'm in the 116s, so. It's gonna be tough. Um, I'm not sure if we're gonna need to pit. That's a big question. I got my crew chief ready just in case. Uh, last time we did not at Sonoma, so my guess is that we will not here as well, but I'll keep an eye on all the, uh, all the numbers anyway. See what comes of it. And I uh, just got to remember that uh, pit entry at Watkins Glen comes up on you fast. That's the end 
All right, that's it. Did everyone qualify? That was really quick. All right, everyone, uh, get ready. All right. I will. I also mention. I should mention. Um, I got uh, called off of work today. Look how bad my time was. <laughs> I got called off of work today. Um. So I, I'm actually. This is one of the first races of the week, if not the first. One to go. I don't know if it's the first, but it's one of the first. So that's cool. Um, I haven't been able to race in the the high strength of field times and stuff lately because of work. So um, I figure it might be questionable how much participation this particular combo gets later in the week. So um, better get uh, a race in now while I can, and hopefully not kill anyone. Gonna have to. I'm gonna give lots of space early on. These things are really hard to stop. We could easily get run into from behind, and uh, I, I don't even have room to argue about it because <laughs> I totally understand. Hopefully, it doesn't happen, but I'm not gonna be angry about it if it happens. Because Jesus is tough. Good luck, everyone. Goal number one, as uh, as usual in many road racing is just stay on track especially when it's so difficult to keep it on the track like this got to keep the off tracks to a minimum we got 25 laps here you have two additional plenty of time during the track. Yeah, for right. mistakes yeah. to be made and usually these tires on this car, Follow car number wear away pretty quick right so I'm gonna be thinking about that too when I'm getting on throttle and when I'm hitting the brake. By the way, I noticed this advertisement sign when I was in practice session. The Corning Museum of Glass. New Glass. Wow. <laughs> and it's now my favorite sign on iRacing. I don't know if it's based on reality, but I like that sign. New Glass. Wow. So, you know, in case you needed any reasons why I'm bad, it's because I'm looking at the advertisements and not focusing on practice. Maybe we got a checkup. Okay. Maybe I should leave room on the pace lap too. I always like those Bell South schemes. We got the person that's uh, starting, I guess, third up there. Well, or is that that would be fourth? Because I think it's backwards. First, second, third, fourth. Yeah, so it's fourth, I think. At the Bell South. I always like the those like baby blue with the kind of primary colors. I always like those. They're a good throwback scheme. We gotta do a full pace slap here, unfortunately. I think it's going a little bit faster than the USF two thousand one did, just because people aren't holding back as much. People were really far back in that race. Here, yeah, we're probably going to be on the pace car, so. Let me see the. <laughs> that person started pretending to take the uh, chicane. It's funny. I imagine that would probably give you an off track, right? Since that's not the layout we're on, if you went over there, you would get an off track. I don't know that for sure, but I imagine that would be the case. I don't actually know, though. I'm not going to try it either. <laughs> it's uh, Well, wave goodbye to the chicane as we pass by. Wave goodbye to the boot. We will not be running either. I don't even think it existed in 1987. I think that was a later addition to the track. I could be wrong. It could have been there by now. But the Cup Series definitely never ran there. It still doesn't. Uh, turn one's gonna be scary. I really hope everyone's patient and thinks about leaving a room. Of course, I have an itchy eye right before we start. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Got watery eyes. I remember to look at the, the correct car since we're supposed to be looking at the guy on the right. We know when to go. Oh, off? Are we off? 
think someone missed a shift or something. That really got me all messed up, but hey, there's extra room we needed. Right side. Still there. You're on the left. Three wide. Not one I want to hear. Not one to hear three wide. I do not want to hear three wide. Let me on the track. Clear on the right. Oh no. You got a slow car on the left. Oh. There goes a lot of the field back there, I bet. That is not where you want to be wrecking. That's a track blocker, probably. Oh, the humanity. Ooh, all right, well, so about that space, how many people are gonna drive off the track here? Starts okay, we're still in this. Sorry, Pedro. Eh, it seems like everyone's good. I drove off the track like four times in a row when I was practicing. Just because the braking zone is so much sooner than you think it is. So we're probably going to get caught by faster guys who had to check up real bad for that incident. But at I'm least uh, they should be coming one at a time, I hope. Where are we now? I imagine we're down a couple spots after that first corner or so. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Crash. Alright, watch out again through the yeses. I guess it's one S, isn't it? Wouldn't it be one S, so wouldn't it be S? Let me not question that right now. 13th, according to this, and then we passed the guy that went off, so... I'm not going to worry much at all about what all that's saying at the moment, though. There's, that's almost irrelevant at this point. Staying on track is the most relevant thing I can think about right now. Okay. Breaking earlier, even earlier than I normally would think. Because again, tires. There's someone over there that went way off. Okay. Saying I got plenty of fuel. Still early, but um, I, I'm sure we're not going to have to pit. Don't think that's going to be an issue. Alright. I actually quite enjoy going through the S's in this car. It's like a super handful trying to get it to do what you want, but it's pretty fun actually. <laughs> I don't know if I'm good at it or not, I just like it. Break even more early than usual since we got someone in front of us. Like, whenever you think you, start, you should start braking, probably brake about two seconds before that. So I, uh, I hope you thought about it in advance. <laughs> uh, I got some weird movement up ahead. I think he was looking to the inside, maybe, for a potential pass. That's off track. It's not off track. Okay. I thought going past the curb there got an off track. I guess not. Alright. Well, we'll hold on to this 0x as long as we can. I braked so early and I still almost went off. <laughs> Goodness. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be pretty bad. Alright, well, we got a bit of a run in the sky. We caught up a little bit, but... Oh, whoa, he's getting unsettled. I think he shifted down a little bit I'll earlier. Wide here. I'll let you tell the entire golden. Left side. Clear on the left. Thanks, man. I'm just out here trying to survive. Well done, mate. That was great. Me, me too. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yep, I think a lot of people probably have that same mindset. But, uh, appreciate him Let me buy. And we're not doing too bad. That's a top 10 right now at this point. It's cool. Join the top 10. Just can't get it to turn into turn one. You can use the curbs a little bit, but uh, don't overdo it. <laughs> it's unstable enough already without running over curbs. Oh, deep breath. Some bumps. Drive a little too hard. Oh man, the tires are already going away. I guess. Hmm. It doesn't seem like we're getting caught by uh, from behind too much. Although the uh, the relative kind of goes all over on road courses typically. So. You got a slow car uh oh. There. Trouble. 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 You got it going though. It's that Little Caesars car. I think we started right behind them. Breaking even earlier. Okay. We got some laps in. Feel not too bad. Getting a little bit sideways. I think I want to shift earlier there. I said I wanted to, but now I think it's starting to really become a thing. We got potential passes coming up here. That's we'll see how that works. So much off throttle time. I kinda love it though. They're, they're racing. <laughs> they're racing. The they're finding a way to race. In this beast. Ooh, going off track. Maybe. I didn't get an off track when I went about out there, so. They're starting to catch them because they go side by side. This is, uh, arguing the danger zone. Very early breaking. Early shift into fourth. How's this gonna work? Uh, woo! I gotta hit the wall. I don't know how I feel about that. Left it was right. slow at first, and then it kind of like built up and Here had a right. decent runoff. Maybe not quite as early. Good pass. Maybe somewhere in between. I can get that done. Turn, please. Sending a letter to the congressman. Hey, can I turn in the next corner, please? Maybe it'll turn by the time they receive that letter. I kind of feel like being a little easier is paying off because these guys are really struggling on their tires already. Hard to say though. Stay calm, keep it smooth. P9. Uh oh, that guy's sliding hard. The 17 behind us might be faster. Ooh, that's got something kind of sideways. Okay. I don't know about fourth. I'll let you buy here, Kevin. Uh, Go out, bud. Easy and... There's this hell with cars behind me. Okay, it's wide. Okay, Colton. Hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Okay. 
17 comes up on us, we will let them go. It is just not a good feeling having someone behind you at any point. When these things take a year and a half to slow down. Oh, really off again. No. Alright, okay. <laughs> that was very slow. I having trouble in turn one again. This time, is he gonna save it? No. Nope. Can't save it this time. Remember, he slid through it last corner. We're going back to third gear. Through the S. Is? S is? Okay. Sure. Slow it down. They're side by side. Hey, this is fun racing, though. Oh, I love a car that doesn't drive itself. Because what am I here for if it drives itself? I know the commentary is going to consist of a lot of grunts. <laughs> going, Ugh. Seventh position. Your last lap time was at 119.3. Two, Thinking about three, poking three, his nose there. Off the pace. Sector one and Take my wider entry, but it's kind of making me incapable of doing so. Oh boy, uh oh. I can't slow down for that level of a run. Still there, hold See you over driving it. Clear on the right. Uh, he's just out breaking me. Fair enough. Alright. Oh wow, he got a massive run off there. He did that better than I can. There you go. Clear on the left. Not risking side by side stuff if I don't have to. Boy, it would be great if this car turned. Eighth place. got an off track there. I tried turning in a little bit sooner and using more of the curb, but uh, that didn't work. I got the uh, almost like the turtle portion of the curb when I turned in there and it set my car in the wrong direction, so not so sure that's a good idea. Are we going to have another pass attempt coming up? Looks like they're filing in behind. Take the throttle, maybe get it to rotate a little bit. Still have somehow managed not to get a off track, even though I've been very close a couple of times. amount of curb. There we go. Sure. Oh, he's getting unsettled. Massive right run through here. Still there. That was a Clear weird place right. to pass. 
I didn't even really want to do that. That just kind of happened. Had third gear through there after I kicked the throttle in, in second gear. I don't know. Kind of feel good. Oh, overdrove, overdrove. We're okay though. Lost some time. It didn't crash or anything. Oh, did the unsettled thing that the other guy did before. Careful, gotta be careful when, uh... Going, uh, on that curb, I guess. Okay, I think I found a good place to ship into fourth there. I got that figured out a little more. Uh-oh. Oh, I think it's a lap car. I think that might have been that lap car that uh, had wrecked. Oh, very bad commentary. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh-oh, overdrive. overdrove it a bit but uh, stayed on track everyone's doing a little bit of that I think Ooh, he almost set us for mine don't go clear on the right okay maybe I uh, broke a little too hard but I couldn't run at the guy in front of me either so Ooh, sideways Getting in a fourth. <laughs> that got me all kind of out of my rhythm. We're just barely past halfway here, so I'm still not even quite concerned about what position we're in and whatever. <sighs> I really think you need to get it into second there to help it rotate, because otherwise you're just pushing all the way through. But those leaders are gone. They're so fast. Watching them in practice and stuff. Crazy fast, so. They're probably halfway across the track by now. I don't like too much curb again, but that, that kind of worked, actually. Not really, but it didn't ruin me like last time. Wide through there. Well, we got lots of space behind us uh, to the next lead lap car, so at least we don't have to feel too much uh, pressure from behind. Car's not turning all too much anymore. This guy's on new tires or something. I just ask that he does not run me over. He's got it here. All right. Still there. Got ten left to go. Break Clear early for him. As he wrecks. 
Okie dokie. Guess we'll let him buy again later, maybe? I see any of them, my man. Okay, is that the second lap in a row I've been thrown off my rhythm in turn one? <laughs> A little wider of an entry there. Castro is getting closer. The gap's now 0.5. Oh, okay. This guy has pit. Right side. It would have seemed. Clear on the right. Is pitting a thing? Oh, I'm not pitting. Oh, I'm telling you. It's fine. You got loads. We're just that slow. He's probably one of the real fast guys. But uh. Unless my tires start saying like they're gonna come off, then I don't know if I wanna pit. I haven't heard like a I haven't heard my crew chief say like, oh the leader is in the pits or whatever, so I assume it's not necessary. and break in the asses now because I messed up the angle. Oh, really working the wheel. Whew. So that number two that flew past us, hit or not, he was going to beat us. So, let's worry about that. You know, let this roll for an age and a half. Break really hard for that. And then went off still. Into the outside wall. He's struggling to stay in front of us, I think. Hey, did that pretty good. I'm gonna need to change to session last lap here in a minute, because best lap is no longer relevant. Alright, where's two? Much of a thing. Alright. Session last lap, okay. Right very early, get some space. Man, this is tough. I'm sweating. <laughs> oh, we got a tire lock up. Can we take advantage? As of right now, no. <laughs> but he also overdrove that. And he's letting us by. Alright. Clear. Thank you, dude. P7. Come on, Colton. Good stuff. Keep it coming. Thank you, Tin. Uh, no problem, I saw you coming. Uh, and really just hanging on for the last few laps. <laughs> yeah, I might see you again if I end up off course. <laughs> If he's just faster. You'll need to take care of the tires. Take care of the tires. We can make it six more laps though, right? Should be. Able to. That's 
Man, is this gonna happen again? Am I gonna blow my tires in a yet another 87 race? Wouldn't that be glorious? So what tire would that be? Probably the right front the left front, right? Wow, it's saying it again. I don't I might need to pit. Oh boy. That's concerning. I know it's not the rears, right? Maybe, maybe it's the rears. Holy cow. Wait a minute, that was the leader guy. Left side. Clear on the left. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe we do need to pit. I bet I messed up the strategy. Hmm. Concerning. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna blow my tires again, aren't I? Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I guess go until they blow. I mean, they already feel like they've blown anyway. How bad they are, so. I just, I don't think there's any way to just not abuse the tires when going around this course in this car. I'm incapable of doing that anyway. Nice. Curb beat, it sounded like my phone was on vibrate. It vibrate and it was ringing. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we're going to learn something about tire wear. Twelve has much fresher tires, I think, but he's not like making a pass or anything at any point. I just I, I keep getting worried he's gonna rear-end me, and you know, because he can take a corner much harder than I can. Oh man, don't want to be doing that. I think I'm content staying out though. Until it uh until it blows, if it does blow. That's what it is. Get on the gas right yet. Side. Let him by. Clear. like the tired cars. Those are always nice looking. In any era, as far as I'm concerned. And it promotes clean racing, am I right? Ha ha ha. Funny laugh crack. end up in third very long there, but I feel like it's necessary. It's necessary exiting the corner because it helps me actually get on the gas pedal. So otherwise, I'm spinning the tires a bunch in second gear. And then I feel like it's necessary to shift down back into second through that last corner because you need to get the, the turn. So, as weird as it is, how short I use third gear there. I feel like it's it's working. But uh there's lots of faster guys who probably do things a lot different from me. 
You've got two laps to go. Two laps to go. Tires. Can you do me a solid here and stay solid? And not a deflated balloon. So here's the thing, I'm six, oh, I was going to say six and a half seconds up, but that number's dropping. I'm looking at that number drop. Looking at me go my first off track. Pay attention to track limits, please Colton. That's bound to happen. I'm proud of myself that it didn't, or it took this long. But that didn't turn at all, I don't, I'd overdrove and I'm really worried about what percentage this tire's at at this point. We're just playing a game of can the tires hang on? I'm really curious what they're going to be. They're going to be like 2% at the end of this thing, if not zero. That's how far ahead the leader is. Like I said, about a half track ahead, which is a lot on a road course. But we're in seventh. We might lose it if we have to pit, but I'm pretty proud of that. So I did not expect to do too well. All right, tires. Need you for about one more lap. I probably could just stay in second there. Actually, I don't know. It says a lot about how tricky this is that I'm still trying to figure things out 25 laps later. Come on, tires, one more lap. I'm not catching anyone, so I'm gonna just cruise. Just absolutely cruise. We got 10 and a half seconds, 11 seconds behind us. Oh my gosh, please hold on. <laughs> we got that message so long ago now. About the tires being worn. This is the biggest test, I think, until the end of it. Great ride, man. Very impressive stuff. Yeah, great win. These things are really tough, so what you pulled off is pretty cool. weird thing to say, I think. <laughs> but, finish this thing. Don't you dare show me a meatball around this final corner. We made it. I'm Ooh. really sorry, man. I looked up. P7. Okay, it's over. Chicken flag, chicken flag. Oh, we made it seventh. Tires. What? 29. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I was expecting like a three. Why did I slow down? Okay, it didn't matter. We weren't going to catch up people in front of me, but I was way over nervous for no reason. The left rear is the most worn. That is not what I expected. The lefts, I would have expected. Left rear? I guess if I'm getting on the gas. Oh, all right. Jeez. Hey, guys, it was fun trying to get this beast to turn. <laughs> yeah. All right, so seventh place. All right, so the uh, road eye rating actually was kind of accurate. I did not expect that because this is not your typical road car, believe it or not. But uh, seventh place, we moved up five from our starting spot. We had one X, and it came with like only a couple.
Excuse me. A couple laps to go. Good stuff. Let's see uh, the accidents. I think everyone did a pretty darn good job, though, of keeping out of uh, each other. I'm sure we're going to get plenty of uh, off packs, though. So the screen, and what we got? Lap one. Oh, this was the S. I want to see how big this crash was. Okay, no, he went off into the grass. Oh, no, but they're wrecking still. They are still wrecking. Not nearly as big as I thought it was, though. I thought he was going to be in this portion here, blocking the track, and I thought that was going to be much worse. Okay, this explains why the Tide car had fresh tires, because, uh, they, uh, they must have come in. I guess it doesn't explain it, but part of maybe their motivation to take that approach. And, uh, had a couple guys, but not nearly as big as I thought it was. Yeah, we saw this already. Seen enough. Thank you. Get the point. Ooh. Yeah, the seven. Does he still beat us? No, he doesn't. Um. He was approaching that guy. It's a lot more momentum. And, uh, hit the brakes too hard. Went sideways. Troubles for Tide. Oh no, more troubles for Seven. He still would—he would have still beat us up maybe if he didn't make a couple of mistakes. Back on track. Looks like it was safely enough. Oh, we drawing this accident in progress. That looks like grass on entry. Yep. He had no trouble getting the thing to turn. A little too much. Now this guy. He pit, I think, didn't he? I remember him flying by us at one point. He might have had more troubles in the future, though. 22. Oof. These things are tough. They can take it. A bit more wall. Classic Kodiak scheme. Uh-oh. That's probably a penalty, too. In fact, I know that is a penalty. That's killer. If it wasn't bad enough to spin out to also get a penalty on top of it, that's rough. Ooh, Little Caesar's is a little problem. Wall. Good ass. 12 with more issues. 21 with issues. Gets it unsettled. It's uh, on the gas a little too hard, I think. Donuts. Moving right along, though. Is this what's this gonna be? Tire worn? No idea. Oh, that's a missed breaking point. That's not good. And that's why they added the chicane to this layout. Guys in real life went through there a little bit faster than that, even. And it was tragic. Okay, this is the guy that got tires. I think he took tires on purpose. He went all the way back to second, so... Might be something to it, I don't know. I just feel like if I got new tires, I wouldn't be able to use them well enough to justify it. Like, I'm slow with new or old, old tires. Seen that again for some reason. That's a myth. Oh no! John Theodore. Family member told me he actually has watched this guy race on uh, YouTube before. Well enough, he's always really fast, but uh, I already missed his breaking point. Went way off. I take it he's probably more of an oval guy. Much like I am, but... He still finished pretty well, didn't he? 
Yeah, right behind us. And there's your eventual winner. Number one. I might go back and watch how he was making his way through the track in this one. See uh, how I could improve, because clearly he was very fast. Going into the pits, does he slow it down enough? I'm going to say no. So I believe it's what? Let me see where, where he's at here. So it must be... Okay, it's 40, so maybe he did slow it down enough. I thought it was 35. Ooh, that's close. I think he did it, though. I think he was able to do it, just hit the wall. Off track there. Having trouble to slow down. Oh, no, and he gets back on track in front of M&M's. M&M's Caramel. Those didn't exist in 1987. You can't trick me. To be fair, I don't know if the sponsor I have existed in 1987. I've seen this 8 a lot. I don't know why. Because they're not doing much. Getting later in the race, I think we're seeing a lot of uh, tigers screaming out in pain. Seeing those incidents. 12 had a rough race. They were pretty fast at times, but they had tr uh, trouble keeping it in the right direction. It's been drifting around a lot of corners too, but they've been keeping it straight for the most part. Oh, we saw that. Ted was the guy that was kind enough to let us on by. I think maybe we were nicer to the tires, because it seemed like we were equal pace and then he fell off pretty hard, or maybe he got worried like the about the tires even more than I did. Given that this is one of the first races of the week, like there's a lot of information you guys don't know, like is it possible to blow the tires in this race? This guy was our, uh, he had a very very fast time in practice. Even, he, he's the guy that had the 113 in practice. He didn't pull that off in qualifying. In fact, he didn't even qualify for some reason, so he ended up third. He was probably hitting 113s, at least early in the race. High life, living their best life, I guess. Not hitting anything. Is this gonna be a missed breaking point? No, it looks fine to me. Had me nervous. They were racing close, but that looks fine. Probably my tire hitting a critical point. Oh yeah, we're still working on the Pizza Man at this point. I don't know if Cooper was around in 1987. Don't have that information, but hey, yeah, there he is letting us by. Very kind move. I'm sure he just didn't want me to run him over, <laughs> also. So, uh, hey, I didn't want to run him over either, so... That's why you do that. Benefits everyone. Speaking of running over... Oh no. Yeah, it just goes for the pass and breaks much too late. Doesn't work out. 19 didn't even see it coming, I don't think. Otherwise, I don't think they would have even turned in. Yeah, well, even the leaders are going so slow through there this late in the race, lap 19. <laughs> More of my tires yelling at me, I assume. I'm getting on the curbs a little bit. Caramel M&Ms from the future. Also tires, we're just going to see a bunch of tires here, and I know I didn't do anything, so... Skippity. Winner. Man, it almost looks like he overdrives it, but I think he kind of diamonds it and gets a good run off. That might be the way to do it. <clears throat> the eight rear tires are gone. Holy cow, you can hear him just on the throttle. 
man. Much going on. Just trying to skip through these if I don't think anything's going to happen. It seems like the race has calmed down quite a bit. I'm pretty sure the one's not going to wreck, given that they won. That's not good. Oh, that tire's gone. Right front. Needs to make a whole lap like that. Oh, no. There's no way. He has to tow at some point, right? Does he even know it's gone? Oh, my gosh. The dramatic irony. Does he even know that the tire is gone? Is it even gone? Or was that prediction code predicting it was a hard enough hit? No, it actually wasn't gone. Okay. So what that was is the prediction code thought he hit that hard enough to knock the tire off. When in reality, it wasn't quite hard enough, if close. So for a second we see the tire come off. But then it says, actually, you know what? We, re we ran the numbers and that wasn't hard enough to uh, cause a crash, so, or cause the wheel to come off, so, it fixes itself. At least that's how I understand it. Blockbuster, they've been having a very clean race. I don't think we've seen them at all. I think they were taking it real easy and just taking the spots where they could get them. Not a bad approach. Ten tires are absolutely gone. He's having trouble even turning that thing. Wow. It's still got a couple laps to go, too. He must drop a couple more spots before the end of this one. 19's going in hot! Oh, no! Eh, just kind of like a 360 spin and continue. Luckily, I had no one behind, a, behind him because he ended up back in the track. Four is probably fine. One we know is fine. Fifth place. What's going on? Nothing. Still nothing? Still nothing. 19 was like pretty darn good the first part of the race, and then they kind of started having more issues as the tires went off, it looks like. But here they're, they're doing okay. And that was the end of the race. How about that? Oh, two slides in a bit there. Might have given themselves a uh, two X out of control by accident. But... Oh my God, I remember that he apologized for this. So he took it cool the whole race. And honestly, that almost looked like it might have net code a bit because he gets really close to him. But uh, does he actually touch him? It was very close. Yeah, that's an echo. I think if, uh... I think he would have been fine. Would have been very close, but I think he would have been fine if... It didn't, uh... Phantom hit him there. It looks like, thankfully, the, uh... 15 didn't lose any more spots. So, that should be it, I think. So we got more... Rubble on the last lap. Oh, this guy's just full Jimmy Johnsoning it. Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy, I kind of feel like I wanted to do that too, because <laughs> it's, uh, it's a handful, but oh man, I'm very happy with that. Seventh place as the six, um, super tough to drive these things around here, so very happy that I moved forward through the race. Only the one X, would have been cool to get the zero X, but uh, not quite. It was actually only one in person who got to zero X because these two guys didn't show up. I remember Anthony said in the practice session, he, was, he wasn't going to race yet. He wasn't ready. And this guy didn't show up either. So the number uh, four was the only one with a zero X and we could have joined him if uh, we didn't go off track the one time. And then number nine too. Who was that? The paint scheme. Yeah. I don't, I feel like we didn't really see them at all either. So uh, keeping on track usually does you pretty good. Although he kind of went three laps down. I don't know what happened to him, but Maybe pop the tire. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Very good race. Thanks for watching. Um, if you give it a go this week, uh, break. 
very very early <laughs> earlier than you think and then a little bit more because uh, it doesn't like to slow down and uh, tire wear does seem to be a thing so all right see you next time